10 years ago, the idea that adults, you know, schools and the media would combine to create an environment that actively encourages, not supports, but encourages children to be confused about their bodies at particularly vulnerable points in their life and to reject their bodies to the point that they want to surgically alter them, well, that was unthinkable. No one from any other point in human history would understand why so many people have been convinced that it's kind and essential to facilitate a medical industry that is profiting from disfiguring children. Now, you've called this a child abuse scandal and a medical crisis. Is it being led by children who genuinely have come to this decision on their own by and large, or is it more of a thing led by adults and perhaps the medical industry? Yes, of course, this is led by adults. This is led by the media, the government, these TQ organizations. This is really something that took off really around 2010 around the time gay rights were won. And a lot of people said there would be this slippery slope and they've been proven to be correct because as soon as gay rights were won, the new focus came to making what is really a mental illness into a civil rights issue. And there's been hundreds of millions of dollars, billions for sure actually, pumped behind this movement. But there's no such thing as a transgender child. It's all a lie. Nobody can even define what it means. And no child on their own would ever believe that they were born in the wrong body unless someone in society put that idea in their head in the first place. Well, and the people who are, uh, the, like the environment that children are in these days, I've, we were just showing some photographs there, their classrooms are now full of activist flags about adult sexual concepts and gender identity. When I went to school, Chris, we didn't have that in our classrooms and no one was having this as a topic of discussion. Now everyone has their own pronouns, everyone is uh, experimenting with their identity instead of trying to focus on their grades. Is that do you think leading to what is essentially a craze? I don't know if you remember, we had crazes at school when I was going, we all had yo-yos and we all had elastics and we all had Furbies. Is this kind of like a, an identity craze? This is 100% a craze. This is a social contagion primarily affecting girls. And I'm glad you brought up the pronouns because a lot of people think they're just being kind when they go along with this pronoun game. But what really are they doing? When you call a girl he, him, you are sending her a message that there's something wrong with her, that she's supposed to be something she's not. That's not a message of self-acceptance, it's a message of self-hate. And now you have the whole school and all the kids and the teachers and the administrators all supporting this message that the child was born wrong. This we should never go along with because this is harming kids and it's causing them to believe that the only way they're gonna find true happiness is by going to the next step after the social transition of new names and pronouns. The next step is puberty blockers, cross-sex hormones, and surgeries because they believe they're born in the wrong body and that's the only way they're gonna find true happiness. This is all, of course, a vicious, terrible, coercive lie.